Okay, the crab incident video. One of the stranger, or perhaps the strangest incidents in my Smash career was well, as is jazzy music. Many have been deemed it the crab incident, and the reason it's called the crab incident is because uh, <laughs> a crab was involved. And what happened was I was at a tournament called Pound 2019, which was in Maryland. It was well, at they've a got drawings. At the Xanadu venue, which is a pretty well-known venue uh, in Smash Bros. And Pound was kind of the namesake series that they took over, so really big event. They had an entire section for Melee, an entire section for Ultimate, and you know, it's like a two or three day event, so everyone there is just warming up, practicing, the brackets run away, there's energy fizzling in the room, and on my end, of course, you know, I'm uh, one of the favorites to win the Melee tournament, and so I believe I find myself in winner semis against uh, Mango. He's been one of my longtime rivals in Smash, and he's considered one of the greatest melee players of all time. And so Mango C9 had, Mango. I think, a losing streak against me up until that point. So I was the favorite to go in. So we start playing, and then all of a sudden we have a really back and forth set. I mean, Mango's coming at me with like really, really crazy rushdowns, and he's finding these amazing openings, and the crowd is really on his side. And so I think it gets down Guys, to either game four or game five. And uh, it's a close game, and he ends up clutching it out and he upsets me. That was a pretty big hit to my mentality and my confidence. So, you know, I shake the hand and I walk through the crowd Spinach and I remember just let it leave the venue and I walk past the street connecting the venue to the outside and I walk under this underpass and I find this, this is like a statue or some kind of just like a, a placard outside the venue and I just sit on it and I just sit there for 10, 15 minutes and just think and ruminate Stretch. and think. And of course, after a while, I think uh, Crunch, or Lewis, finally found me. He gave me his usual uh, coach talk, because he's my coach for Smash, and he was there with me, to sort of get my head back in the game. Uh, told me to get back in there and start warming up, because, you know, I had a lose run to do. And, you know, he told me, same thing he told me at Evo. He was like, you know, you've won these before. It's hard, but you've won these before, and it makes it that much more impressive. At that point, I was in loser's quarters. So when you lose in the semifinals, the you drop to quarters. In? It's a double elimination bracket. And in Losers, my first opponent is S2J, who is a Falcon player. Um, and at the point, uh, S2J, I had never lost to him ever. So it was a favorable bracket draw for me. But I remember just buckling down thinking like, Puff can juggle the hell out of Captain Falcon. It's the way the matchup works. So I just play him vertically. And I think I take the next two games pretty quickly. Um, and I end up uh, kind of winning a pretty decisive game four. And um, I had to fight Zane in Losers semis. So... The cost of me losing to Mango and winners was a very hard bracket because now I have to fight Zane. We play and I just keep edging him out each game. I think he takes one game and then on the very last game, which is a very, very close one, and it could have easily gone to a game five, I think Zane does the most uncharacteristic SD, a self-destruct, which is a, the worst mistake you can make in Smash Bros. And I end up winning the set, like by the skin of my teeth on that game four. And next thing I know, instead of being, you know, fighting for fifth place, now I'm in top three again. And just like Evo, I am now fighting Plup I'm just in waiting Loser's for the Finals. And just like Evo, me and Plup have a very back and forth set, but I end up winning 3-1. And so now, given the fact that I just beat S2J, Zane, and Plup all 3-1 back to back to back in a row, I get my chance to fight Mango again in the Grand Finals to get my revenge. But I end up uh, beating Mango pretty hard on the first set, 3-1. And Why next thing I know, when there? you do that, I know, you get a right? reset. I hate when so people just sit Mango there while they're at their computer. One <laughs> final set to determine the winner of the entire they? tournament. And I play some of the best melee I ever have in my life, and I end up 3-0-ing Mango. Uh, so the total final count of the Grand Final Series was 6-1 and one in my favor. I mean, to do that loser's run and then to finish Grand Finals like that is just... It really took a lot of mental stamina, and it really brought out some of my best play ever. But here's what happened. From the corner of my eye, I'm still sitting in my chair, just sweating and tired and relieved that I won a big, long event. And from the corner of my eye, I see this red and white object sort of being flung at me from a distance. This Could have sworn it was a Pokeball or something. Object. But uh, I moved my head because it was aimed directly towards my head, and it ends up falling just short of me. And um, this was right after me and Mango shook hands. So Mango didn't even see it. I looked down and I realized someone just hurled a fucking crab at me. The whole ass crustacean. That's never happened to me. I've never had anything thrown at me on a stage, I don't think, let alone a, 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 a carbon-based 
life form that was probably grabbed from a buffet at a nearby restaurant because we're why, in Maryland. Why did they just have the And at that point, after all that know. work I put in, after the entire loser's run, after all of the just mental just focus that I needed to have and putting on the best <laughs> performance of my life, for someone to do that was just downright BM. It was so disrespectful. So I just, just got pissed off. BM. I grabbed the crab. I looked Downright at the crowd, disrespectful. and at that point, I, just, I felt like swinging. I just said, who, who threw this? <laughs> who the fuck threw this? And everyone's looking around in confusion. And then Better than one your guy in the crowd throws? says, yeah, I threw it. Stop, it wasn't him. Man. It was some guy trying to you know, pick a fight and troll me. And so I started just getting into this verbal alt altercation with him. And suddenly, this amazing, beautiful losers run this huge win for a big you know, solidification of my rank one in 2019 is marred by this just messy end of the tournament. And this was all caught on tape on the stream. And the commentators were also completely disappointed. I mean, it was a very bad look for the whole community. I'm so frustrated with the world and I grab the crab and I slam it down to the floor and it shatters into three pieces. And I walk off. Shatters. I, I, I don't think I even remember to grab the trophy for the match. I just walked I just off threw because I was like, the crab and it exploded. And I'm just, instead of being so happy that I won a tournament, I'm just livid. And it was just like, damn, this sucks. This really does suck. What I didn't expect afterwards is that the outpouring of support for me on social media against that guy was something I really never expected. And it seems the whole crowd was so extremely down, against what had happened, <laughs> which led to a documentary made by M. Lemon, which led to an increase in a lot of things for me. So in a lot of reasons, the crab did a lot of good things for me. It ended up being much more of a plus than a minus. Um, but that Connor happened. That's kind of just it. And, I never know, and to this day, I'll never know who threw it. All I know is that the guy was banned got blacklisted from the tournament scene and was never to be heard of again. So yeah, that was the crap incident.